Peppa Pig Theme Park is the latest theme park to open in Florida. Opening as a second gate park to the Merland-owned Legoland Florida Resort, this park is made for kids to have a fantastic time riding some rides and living through one of their favorite TV shows. This is Peppa Pig Theme Park, overall. Before we start, if you've never been theme park hunting before, make sure you subscribe as that is one of the best ways to help the channel grow. Now, let's get to the video. Here on overall, we judge and analyze an amusement park inside and out and give it a total overall score. To do that, we have three different sections we are going to judge a park with many sections to give it an overall score. These sections are attractions, atmosphere, and needs. Once we get an overall score from these three sections, we combine the score to give the park its true overall. While Peppa Pig may be a small park, they managed to fit five different family attractions into its small footprint. While these rides are made for families, the theme and look of these attractions are phenomenal, especially for the families. And quick disclaimer, I judge these rides based on what they are made to deliver and if they deliver it well enough. So if you see a kiddie coaster having a better score than a park icon, I'm not saying it's better. Now that we know how it works, let's just get started with the headline attraction in the park. Daddy Pig's Roller Coaster is a Zamperla lift and launch coaster that takes you on an adventure with Daddy Pig. Get in Daddy Pig's car and traverse through two different helixes, an S-Bend, and even a small drive tire launch. And you go around the layout twice. This ride is really fun. The storyline is great, it's really smooth, and it's the perfect attraction for kids to experience a great headline attraction for a park like this. Now let's take a look at the flat ride, starting off with Mr. Bull's High Striker. This is a classic frog hopper attraction that's themed to one of those test your strength games. These little pops of airtime are always fun, and it's a great starting ride for kids who are looking to follow the thrill. Peppa Pig's Balloon Ride is an aerial carousel attraction that takes you high above Peppa Pig theme park. This little attraction gives you the best view of the Peppa Pig theme park, and you can even see some of Legoland from up there. The ride cycle isn't that long, and ride experience is pretty short, but it's still a nice little family flat for the park. Granddad Dog's Pirate Island Boat Ride is a water carousel that takes you over nice little bumps while you're on the hunt for treasure with Granddad Dog. There isn't much to this attraction, but it still was a lot of fun to ride, and of course, families would love it. Grampy Rabbit's Dinosaur Adventure is a circuit ride attraction that takes you on a dinosaur safari. Climb aboard your very own dinosaur as you explore this area of Peppa Pig world. This is the largest and longest attraction and easily my personal favorite. The length is perfect and I love that this ride has no restraint. It really is the perfect ride for a park like this. So personally, here's how I would rank the rides here at Peppa Pig Theme Park. 5. Peppa Pig's Balloon Ride it's a fun little attraction, but it's too short and small to truly appreciate it for what it's worth. And there's a lot of rides that are this exact same model that are much better. 4. Mr. Bull's High Striker A frog hopper is always fun, and this is easily the best looking frog hopper tower I've seen, but the ride itself is pretty underwhelming compared to other frog hoppers. 3. Granddad Dog's Pirate Island Boat Ride This ride is just fun. I love the little bumps you go over and it's just very relaxing to sit back in this boat and enjoy the ride. 2. Daddy Pig's Roller Coaster This coaster is so much fun. The helixes are great towards the back and that drive tire launch is really fun. It truly is the perfect coaster and the perfect first coaster for any kid. 1. Grampy Rabbit's Dinosaur Adventure The length and look of this ride already makes it the best in the park, and the fact that it has no restraint really makes the ride feel that much more spacious easily my favorite ride in the park. Some other attractions this park has that aren't really rides is a Peppa's Pedal Bike Tour, which is you hop on a tricycle and zoom around a small track. It's a perfect attraction for little kids. They also have a show where you can go on a treasure hunt with Peppa and George, and they have a cinema where you can sit back, relax, and watch some of your favorite Peppa Pig episodes. This park is also home to so many different playgrounds like George's Greenhouse and Granny Pig's Garden. And they even have a splash pad named Muddy Puddles Splash Pad. This park really has it all for the attractions, but now let's take a look at this park's atmosphere. The overall atmosphere of Peppa Pig Theme Park is wonderful. The thing that honestly wowed me the most about this place was how much it looked like the concept art. 
the second you walk in you have this giant entrance sign which is a perfect entrance to a place like this and once you're inside the park you're greeted with daddy pig's roller coaster directly in front of peppa's house it just made me smile walking in because of how wholesome this park really was everything was super clean the pavement sparkled it was so clean and i loved all the grassy hills that were placed throughout the entire park while some were real and some were fake, it didn't matter because either way, it looked amazing. There's not really an area of this park where there's nothing to do. And sure, it may be small, but man, they packed a lot into one park. Everybody was happy. The kids were having a great time. The only thing I would say is that the operations are just not good. Most rides took over two to three minutes to dispatch, except Grampy Rabbit's Dinosaur Adventure. For instance, Mr. Bull's High Striker had a really long ride cycle, and for that ride's capacity, that line took forever. The music that played around the park just put a smile on my face though, and it's hard to not have a good time at this brand new park. Just driving up to it, you see the sign, and from looking outside, it just looks like a cartoon in a small footprint. And the second you walk in from the time you see that entrance sign, it feels like you are in an animated movie. No other park has really done that for me, and Peppa Pig Theme Park really stands out with that category. Now, as great as Peppa Pig Theme Park is, it's small, and they can definitely benefit with some more attractions. I feel like one ride that would fit perfectly here is one of those mock extended discos like Surf Dog or Power Surge, especially since Legoland Florida already has a Zamperla disco. Those are always fun, and that would fit really well here. Something else that would be great would be some kind of fun house or mini walkthrough attraction. It's a tiny thing that they could add and it would add so much charm into this park. And maybe some kind of tiny log flume of some sorts. The Pirate Island Boat Ride is barely a water ride and since Florida gets so hot, some ride involving water that isn't the splash pad would fit really really well into this park. I would be very surprised honestly if this park really ever gets an expansion since it's built on Legoland Florida's parking lot, but a small expansion in the foreseeable future would be great for this brand new park. So there we have it, Peppa Pig theme park overall. If you can't tell already, it's a great family park, but now it is time to calculate Peppa Pig's theme park overall score. Peppa's rides are great, but they're definitely not the best in the world. So it's overall for attractions is seven out of 10. Now let's talk about their atmosphere. Peppa Pig theme park will receive a nine out of 10 for atmosphere for its amazing look, cleanliness, and attention to detail. Finally, this is how we are going to rank the needs category. The more rides or attractions the park needs, the lower the score will be. Since Peppa Pig Theme Park is in need of a lot more attractions, we are going to give them a 4 out of 10. So, Peppa Pig Theme Park's overall is 6.5 out of 10. A solid overall. Peppa Pig definitely isn't the largest park out there, and they definitely need a lot more to be considered a full day destination but it is a really good park for the kids to have a great day and make some amazing memories. So I highly suggest you visit Peppa Pig theme park in the near future. So I hope you enjoyed my latest episode of overall. If you want to see more videos like this again, please don't forget to subscribe. Also to hear more TPH content that didn't make a video, please be sure to check out my podcast on the hunt. And finally, if you ever need some non-copyrighted off rides or POVs, check out my second channel, TPH Productions. As always, this is Hunter from Theme Park Hunting. I'll see you guys later and follow the thrill.